Hi everybody, Karen Rao Carter here. It's time for a feng shui story. This story is for you if you have shoulder issues, anything to do with shoulder issues, or you're facing an upcoming surgery. Over the years as a feng shui and healthy lifestyle consultant, I've been to thousands of people's homes and after a while you start to make the connection between what's going on in their spaces and what's going on in their lives. And you can pretty much figure out by just listening to somebody's complaints uh, pretty much what's going on in their house. So these videos are about helping you make some connections that you might not have thought about to and, and then some remedies, some feng shui cures to make changes to your house so that you can um, change the trajectory of an undesirable future and get you more into alignment with your dream ultimate future. All right, so I had a client who had frozen shoulders from the shoulder to her elbow was pretty much strapped to her, her sides. She could move her hands, but from, from the elbow up was just pretty much stuck to her sides and had been that way for over three years. She was doing all the physical therapy. She was doing everything she was supposed to be doing. Nothing was budging. She called me and said, I just don't want to have the surgery. They want to knock me out and like, <laughs> like rip it and just get her moving again. Or, you know, they were going to just cut in there and try to clean stuff out. And she's like, I just can't do these shoulder surgeries on both shoulders. I just can't. I just, you know, help me. So I went to her home. Now she did have a couple of other traditional feng shui no-nos like a bed in a poor position. That's where you have a window behind your head of your bed. She had a sloping ceiling. And so I turned her bed so she had a solid wall behind her. You know, if you want more information on the bed um, arrangement, go to my free webinar at moveitwithkaren.com and um, get access to that and, and you'll get further tips about the furniture arrangement. But today I wanted to talk about having sharp metal near where you sleep. I have noticed over time, I've been doing this for over 30 years, that if you have sharp metal where you're spending a lot of time, AKA where you're sleeping eight hours of the, night, of the 24, you might get cut. <sighs> Don't hide the flatware with all the little silverware and knives underneath the bed to you know, keep it away from burglars, I guess. Um, I've seen that before. I've seen swords under bed, all kinds of weapons. So get the weapons out of the beds, especially the knives in the nightstand drawers. Anything that cuts, a scissors, knife, anything sharp metal, get it away from you while you're sleeping, okay? If uh, I have seen that play out to get cut, so sharp metal near you a lot of time, prone to being like, look at your future, you might be having a surgery in it. So if you want to avoid surgeries, I would recommend clearing your space where you spend the most amount of time and getting the metal, uh, sharp metal out of it. All right. So that's your little feng shui tip. Hopefully that's helped maybe you or some friend that you might know. Feel free to pass the tip along to them and see if we can go about making a dramatic shift in somebody's life for the better by merely getting their environment to support them or your environment to support you. So that's what this feng shui story is all about, helping your shoulders or avoiding surgery by getting rid of the sharp metal. Hope it's been helpful. Talk to you soon. <laughs>